All right, we got Charles Chris, Cross, get started, Cross please. Mississippi State. Yep, I got you. 6'5", 310, big killer here from the SEC. Yes, sir. All right, man. So left tackle all the way, right? Yes, sir. We're talking, you going to do all the drills tomorrow? I am. You're doing everything? You can do bench, too? I'm doing everything except bench. You're doing everything? You're going you're gonna to wait a little bit? I'm going to do that on my pro day. Yeah, I know. So, you know, we, we were just talking to Icky, right, a few minutes ago, and he, he I think he's going to wait, too, right? You know, offensive alignment, what people don't realize is, yes, you guys are huge and strong as hell and everything like that, but you got long damn arms. The bench is probably, like, one of the hardest exercises for you, correct? Yes, sir. It is, right? So, like, you just want a little more time to buy it so you can just pump out a few more reps. Yes, sir. That's All right. exactly it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, all right. NFL, you came, you know, SEC, Mississippi State. Um, what, 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 what's the thing you're looking at in your game just from, you know, college to now to where, you know, I got to get a little bit better here because I'm going to be going against some, some different animals at defense end now. I definitely feel like I can improve on my uh, my pass game, yeah, uh, my run game, especially because I play uh, with Mike Leach, Coach Leach, right? Area offense, yeah. So uh, I definitely feel like I can improve in my run game. You're you're an incredible athlete. I mean, that's the one thing. Like I, I haven't studied you, studied you, but seen you enough and highlights and things like that. Like, what what are you expecting to run on the forty tomorrow? <laughs> like, just get ballpark. Don't put yourself out there too much, but ballparkish. My goal is a 4 8. 4 8? Yes, I, from what I see on film, you look like you can go 4 8. You definitely can. Mike, he's like big and athletic looking and uh, pretty smart and handsome. So he's kind of <laughs> got it all over here. And Charles, one thing I'm always curious about when a guy ends up 6 5 and 300 pounds plus, at what age did you start to realize I'm going to be a pretty big, bad dude? Uh, probably when I was like in the seventh, eighth grade, I was like. 6'2", maybe 6'3", um, tall, long, and I knew I was going to do something with my, uh, with my God-given with my God -given ability. Was there a moment on the football field where the light went on for you that, hey, you know what, I am pretty good at this? Uh, I say my junior year of high school, um, I think like the first, the first three, four games I played, I had to play against uh, Danny Dungeons, and I feel like I did. I locked him down. Like I had a really great game on first three, the first three or four games. That that was when you knew. That was the that moment was where I you're knew. like, okay, I got a future in this. And who'd you say you locked down? Uh, I believe it was. It actually, he was one of my one of my old teammates at Mississippi State. Uh, Jaden Cromedy, um, Jamison Williams. Um, so there were some think. guys there that were some players in the SEC. Yes, and you locked them down. You were like, I'm SEC material. Yes, sir. All right, so now NFL, you know, we talked about some of those defense ends you're going to block. When's it going to be that real moment to where you're going to be like, oh, my gosh, that guy's across from me and I got to block him. You know, who's that guy you're looking forward to kind of like facing off uh, against in the NFL? Oh, uh, Von Miller, J.J. White, um, Montez Sweet, um, Oh, you want that SEC? Yeah, you want that Mississippi State Mississippi guy, Montre? Because he probably whooped your butt a few times when you're young, no? I actually, I actually uh, never got to play against him. He lived when I was coming in. Right, right. Well, so give me this too. Growing up, who was your team in football? I actually didn't have a favorite team. I just like watching football. Yeah, you just like watching football. Yes, like sir. favorite players though. Like who you know who are the guys you kind of gravitated towards. Like who's the offensive lineman, left tackle you look at and we're like. I want to be like him or make my game like him. Uh, definitely growing up, one of my uh, one of my favorites was Tyron Smith. Tyron Smith, yeah, yes, you got a s similar build to him. Yeah, all right, Tyron Smith, he's doing good. He's made a lot of money and playing for a long time. That's a good one. Mike's got Mike's got some more for you too, Mike. Yeah, what's the area of your game as you're getting ready for the NFL level where you know I, I need to improve here? I need to shore up here if I'm going to be able to slow down some of these elite level pass rushers. Oh. Uh, I say just being consistent, just being consistent in my set, um, watching a lot of film, studying guys, learning learning their, their tips uh, on what they like to do. Have you gotten any kind of crazy questions yet? We always ask that every year. There's always some sort of an oddball question that gets asked. What's the strangest thing you've heard so far when you've talked to teams? Well, surprisingly, I haven't had uh, any crazy questions. Nothing yet? Nothing yet. All right. All right. So that's, maybe, maybe it's that's because actually, you're so big. Kind of good. Maybe, maybe, there's a, maybe <laughs> once they get over 6'5 and 300 pounds, they're smart enough not to ask any questions that may get the, <laughs> the prospect agitated. Maybe that's smart, Chris. Where, 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 yeah, it, it probably is. That's where I want to go with Big Charles here. Like, um, 
you know, I'm always – I love offensive linemen, and I played in the NFL a little bit. You guys are, like, so calm and cool in these situations. But, I mean, I see what you do on the field. Like, where does, where does Charles Cross get, like, nastiness from? Where, 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 how do you dive into that aspect of your life when it comes time to play? Oh, I just turn it on. Like, I have – for a game, I have a playlist I listen to. You got a specific it's playlist? Just, it's, it just turned me on. Yeah. Who's on the playlist a little bit? Oh, uh, there's a lot of different guys. Yeah. Um, Lil Baby, Lil Dirk. Yeah. Uh, um, has some Chief Keith, some, some um, Biggie. It's like a you got a little a mix of, of all of all the hip hop generation there. Yeah. Sounds just like like Mike's playlist. He probably has a similar <laughs> playlist. But yo, dude, kick some butt. <laughs> How did you all right, know? Man. Congrats. Uh, yeah, he knows. You guys are just the same. But we're gonna go to break. All right, all right. Charles Cross, Mississippi State. He's gonna be a left tackle in the NFL, kicking butt right before before you know it. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.